Well, hello and welcome to Bowtie Life. I am Bowtie Dave, and we talk mostly about gardening, sometimes about life here, but uh, right now we're talking about making jelly, or I'm sorry, jam. Okay, so jams, jellies, preservatives. Preservatives may have seeds in them, like blueberries or blackberries. Jam typically has seeds taken out, sometimes skins. Jelly is just made with the juice of whatever you're making. So that's just a little clarification on what the difference of, the, of them are. But today, if you didn't see our uh, short the other day, uh, we harvested loquats. And of course, we've been harvesting strawberries. So we've got strawberries, we've got um, strained loquats uh, that we're going to make some jam out of. Uh, we have all our uh, ingredients here. This is, uh, I'm really intending not this, this to not be an hour long video. <laughs> so I'm going to be hitting highlights here. A lot of this stuff you can, you can get online. If you're not familiar with uh, canning uh, jellies, jams and such, um, this is not going to be completely an instructional video, but this should kind of be an overview of what I'm doing here. The recipe I'm using today, Mrs. Bowtie and I spent some time searching on Google for some loquat recipes, and there's uh, some recipes we're gonna try with uh, uh, ginger and vanilla. Uh, we're not gonna use that on this one. We're gonna use the loquats and strawberries today. But uh, we got this recipe from Pook's Pantry, P-O-O-K-S-P-A-N-T-R-Y.com. And I, there, I have no association. I just was looking for a good recipe, and we looked at a lot of recipes and we found one that we felt like we could probably uh, mostly be comfortable with. So that is where we are at. Um, Mrs. Bowtie has run to the store. She'll be back a little bit later. We've already got the sugar measured out. I'm about to measure out the strawberries and the loquat. And, and I'd used a tomato strainer for on this portion of the loquats. We got 20 some odd pounds of loquats. I ended up getting I want to say about 15 pounds of finished product out of it. Uh, and we're going to be using, uh, again, no sponsorship, just some Sure Gel, low sugar uh, for use in low or less or no sugar recipes. I'm not doing any low sugar stuff, but it's the only one we get anymore. Um, six cups of sugar. Oh, some lemon juice. We gotta have some lemon juice in there. Uh, and that's about it. We're uh, warming jars in the, uh, oh, the Presto Precise, Presto Precise Digital Pressure Canner that we got. I did a whole series of videos on that a while back when we first got it, and I'm a little excited to do some water bath canning, because this will be the first time I've used it for water bath canning, so I'm, I'm a little excited about that, of course. But, uh, yeah, it's time to just measure out some ingredients and start cooking and this thing has to cook for between 30 and 40 minutes uh, it's going to cook this uh, stuff is going to cook it's going to build up a foam and then when it starts releasing a foam is what the recipe says when it starts diminishing the foam that means it's all dissolved and, and ready to be canned then we're going to can it uh, it's going to go in the water bath canner get covered over with water canned boiling for 10 minutes and of course the pressure canner, this digital pressure canner actually walks me through all the steps so I don't accidentally open it too early or whatever and uh, uh, kind of takes care of everything for me, which I need a little babysitting. Uh, I don't mind the supervision of uh, Mrs. Bowtie when the time comes. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so yeah, I am not a cook. Uh, folks, if I can do this, you can do it. I am, I am, I'm a handyman. Uh, I do like tinkering in the kitchen. Doesn't always come out good, but uh, I'm, I'm learning. I'm slowly, slowly learning. So yeah, here we go. We're gonna start making this and uh, put this together. I'm excited. Hi, I'm Bowtie Dave. Of course, this part is nothing too complex. Even both high day can handle this. Measuring out four cups of uh, strawberries. Now these were frozen. Uh, we stuck them into the microwave for a few moments, 30 seconds or so, just to get them a little bit 
uh, softer than in the freezer. They are going to get real soft once they're in the pot, so that's about four cups. Close enough. Now this next bit is the already processed and strained low clots. Uh, the tomato strainer takes out the skins, takes out, uh, well we actually already took out the seeds, but uh, it takes out skins and other um, various membranes inside there and leaves only this, just the, the uh, meat of the peach, uh, not the peach, <laughs> I said peach, it's actually a Chinese or Japanese plum. I said peach on the short if you saw that. And this is roughly uh, four cups, so I'm going to go with that. And uh, there we go. We, we're going to have a start here. So this loquat is really delicious. It doesn't look too great because we forgot to put lemon in it. But uh, there's a little bit of lemon juice. And of course, six cups of sugar. And we're going to heat this up. Oh, we are going to put in some pectin too. Little sure gel pack of pectin and start heating this up. So, we'll be bringing this to a boil, and you, I actually have some lids back here getting ready to simmer, so get ready for the process. But uh, once this is just to a boil, um, now we did use pectin in here, and just as a side note, uh, some recipes for loquats do not require pectin. Well, that's when you leave the skins on. And we strain with the tomato strainer, it took off all that skin, which is rich in pectin. So we had to do it this way. I am going to be using a potato masher here to get some of these big chunks down, the strawberries, get them um, more into uh, a mushy state for the jam. And we're just going to bring this to a boil for about... Uh, all right, we're gonna cook this for about 30 to 40 minutes. And here's a little bit of the potato masher action. Woo, be careful. That could be dangerous. Gotta do that gently, I guess. It does say gently. You don't wanna splash this everywhere. Breaking up the strawberries, breaking up the uh, hunks of loquat stuff. As this comes to a cooking temperature where it's boiling, be sure and stir it frequently. You don't want this stuff to sit on the bottom too long. Now we are using a seven quart pot here. Uh, it's, a, it's a lodge pot, which means it's cast iron, it's heavy, so it does spread out the heat a lot better. However, you can still burn on the bottom, so be sure to keep that thing stirring. Okay, so what we've done is reduce it. It was at a roaring boil. We've reduced it down to more of a simmer. It is going to continue to stir it occasionally to keep it from burning on the bottom, but it should thicken up as it boils. So we've got about uh, 24 minutes on a 30 minute timer left here. It is foaming up nicely. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I'll turn the camera back on if I see this starting to reduce the foam, which is what the uh, recipe says is going to happen maybe in about 20-25 minutes. So the foam may be subsiding slightly. I'm not sure yet. We're going to uh, give it the fridge test. I have a small plate in the freezer right now that we will test to see if it's ready to set up and I'll show how I'm doing that. A little more stirring though. This is about 20 minutes into the process. So it's been 30 minutes. Per the instructions, I stuck a couple of plates in the freezer to test for doneness. These have been in the freezer. Actually, I have two of them here so that it stays a little bit more insulated while I'm doing this. But I just had to put a little bit in the middle and if it gels up in 30 seconds, you're ready to go. So let's see what happens. So on this pot back over here, in case you were wondering, uh, this pot here is boiling water to top off the water in the water bath canner. So, it's been about 30 seconds. It's not quite setting up, is it? 
is close, but it's still a little runny. So I'm going to let it go for, I don't know, let's say another five minutes or so, says Mrs. Bowtie from the other room. So it's been about five minutes. I'm gonna try another test for the doneness. And again, uh, saucer from the freezer. We're gonna put it on here. That already looks a little different, doesn't it? Leave that there for about 30 seconds. And see how it does. Trying to hold this closer to the camera so it's not over the heat. This is about five minutes after the previous test. So, oh yeah, look at that. That's really setting up. What do you think? Is bow tie? Yeah, that looks good. If it, if, if it can go... Looks a little better. Yeah. If it can go what? If, it, if, it, if you can move it to where it almost, yeah, that's good. Okay, we're gonna bottle this. So I'm carefully pulling out the warm jars out of the pressure canner. And I have my ladle ready, and we are going to start filling. And I'm gonna keep stirring this in, so, and, and I know the recipe says to take the foam off, and I've heard other people say don't worry about it, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Several homesteaders said that it's not really going to hurt anything. In my brain, I think it's probably because someone is might be selling this. If you're selling this, you might be of the notion to take off some of the Perfect. some of the foam. So I'm going to fill these carefully. I already have my vinegar over here to wipe the rims because I'm not going to forget this time. did put 10 jars in here because that's what the canner will hold. If I don't fill all 10, it's just fine. I do have that big pot of water over there to fill this. Water level has, when you're water bath canning, the water level has to be at least an inch over the lids. So you want to make sure that you have plenty of water in there. Okay, so Mrs. Bowtie is messing out the pot real quick. I am using distilled white vinegar. First time we heard that was on Stiver's Homestead. We appreciate them pointing out the vinegar idea to us to wipe all the rims. And you basically want to make sure there's nothing on the rims that's going to prevent the seal from getting made. But one thing I want to note the recipe said eight jars, always put in extra jars, people, because you may not, you may have been uh, generous with uh, either the strawberries or the loquats or something. I'm sure I was generous on something, but uh, got ten full jars out of this. And I'm excited. So here we go, hot bottles, they are very hot. Fingertip tight on the rings, folks fingertip tight. That means once it gets down to resistance, and I only do about an eighth of a turn after it gets resistance. Put these in the uh, canner and start the process. And I do have my quick start guide over here for reference. I'm not sure about that one. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. 
Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Yeah, it's hot. So the very last thing is to cover this over with water. You'll notice it's not quite covering it. I've got boiling water here. Ooh, that was a little fast. I'm gonna put it about an inch above. So now everything's in, jars are filled. It's gonna heat for 10 minutes. And we are ready to go. Actually, it's heating now and it will cook for 10 minutes. It will boil for, ten, bring it to a boil and boil for 10 minutes. So after it comes up to heat, it knows that it's boiling and it starts the countdown for the 10 minute boiling time. Incidentally, I forgot to mention, there is no regulator used when you're water bath canning in this Presto Precise digital pressure canner. This is not pressure canning, this is water bath canning, so we don't use the regulator. So there we go. A batch of strawberry loquat jam. I'm very excited. Didn't take too very long, a couple few hours, and I have enough time in the day, I'm going to make me some uh, loquat ginger and vanilla jam. So keep an eye out for that video. If you're just stumbling along here finding our channel, please subscribe. We talk mostly about gardening, sometimes about life. And uh, if you have subscribed, thank you very much for your support. Uh, just subscribing helps, and just watching this video helps. And uh, another thing you can do to help grow the channel is to hit the thumbs up on this video and share on your social media. All these are free things that you can do that uh, can help um, grow the channel. And uh, also, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments below. I I, uh, if you've already done this before and have any suggestions, I would love to hear it. And, uh, or if you have any questions about the process, I can, um, sure try to answer questions. I am not a professional, but I'm learning. So anyway, all that being said, keep an eye out for the next video for this other, uh, set of another batch of, of loquat jam that we'll be getting ready here, uh, very shortly. So y'all have a blessed day.